Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Welcome to Keep Flying. I am a traveler. Not just an ordinary traveler, but a frequent traveler. Traveling to me is not just about moving from one place to the other. I travel for work and personal business. And with all this traveling I do, safety is my number one priority. Knowing my luggage is well looked after, and most of all, a team of people within the airport to assist me around. A self-checking kiosk always comes in handy, and that way, I don't have to queue up and stare at my watch. I'm always on my smartphone and laptop while in the airport terminals, so Wi-Fi always saves the day. Oh, and grabbing a snack while I wait for my flight is key to keeping me calm. <laughs> Last call for all passengers to board the flight to Livingston. Oops, gotta go before I miss my flight. Travel with a peace of mind and enjoy airport services at your convenience with the help of Zambia Airport Corporation Limited, Zambia's airport and air navigation provider. With a new shopping mall and hotel coming soon. Zambia Airport Corporation Limited. Keep flying. Welcome to the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited radio program. My name is Kafala. A bit of a program brought to you by Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. I'm joined by the Managing Director, Mr. Fumo Mundaloka. Welcome to the program, sir. Hello, and uh, thanks for having me. And hello to the listeners out there. Right. For starters, this is a radio program that uh, our listeners will be getting to listen to on uh, various days. And so we would like to just uh, find out from you what the mandate of the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited is. So Zambia Airports Corporation Limited is responsible for the development, maintenance, management of four designated airports, namely Kenneth Kaunda International Airport in Lusaka, Harimwanga, and Kumbula Airport, International Airport in Livingston, Simon Mwansakapwepo International Airport in Indola, and Infor International Airport in Infor. The corporation is also mandated to enhance safety and improve standards of service provision at the above airports and over the Zambian airspace. We also have responsibility that's been given to us over 10 aerodromes that primarily are at uh, the provincial centers and the very active um, airspaces across the country. So that's a piece of uh, work that we've also got into our portfolio. All right. Now, the corporation changed its name. Why did the corporation change its name from the National Airports to Zambia Airports Corporation Limited? I guess with uh, the company and the country wanting to bolster our aviation footprint in the subcontinent, uh, to be called National Airports in relation to the rest of the uh, airports in the region was probably going to be a bit... Uh, restrictive for us or call it um, non-evident so we had to brand ourselves in our national identity and hence now we're called Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. There is the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited and the Zambia Civil Aviation Authority. What is the difference? So I've talked about uh, ourselves as Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. The Civil Aviation Authority um, which is principally a regulator of aviation operations across the country, was established under an Act, um, Act Number no. 7 of 2012, as an autonomous aviation regulator in line with international best practices, which is intended for it to enable the creation of an effective safety oversight authority in aviation across the country. The, Z the ZC. AA provides effective and efficient regulatory services to the aviation industry and ensures that we comply legally and that we provide all the safety assurances required. Whilst us as a company were responsible for development, maintenance and management of designated airports across the country. So explain to us the difference between the airport and the airlines and can we purchase tickets from the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited? So we as ZACL uh, provide airport services to which airlines that fly into the country, across our country, uh, come to. Uh, and we also provide navigation services, uh, ground handling services, whilst the airlines themselves sell the tickets. 
to their prospective clients and ferry the passengers to the various de destinations. I'm afraid we do not sell air take tickets and we don't own any planes. What is the relationship between Zambia Airports Corporation Limited and other agencies that one might find at the airport, such as uh, the Immigration, the Drug Enforcement Commission, the Zambia Police, the Zambia Air Force, uh, to name a few? So the whole of aviation is largely about safety and security of our passengers. So these are stakeholders that play into that space. So the, the DEC, the Zambia Police, uh, and immigration uh, facilitate the provision of service or security to the traveling public that use our airports. Speaking about um, the stakeholders, uh, maybe may I single out particularly um, the immigration department. The immigration department um, is a feature that you will find at all international airports. Uh, uh, including the ones that we operate at, the international airports we operate at, the four. And the immigration department are hosted at our, at our airports. They're a separate department. They perform a specific function um, and obviously are very critical in terms of the service provision to our passengers. Uh, we're separate departments, but um, like the teamwork that um, our, our passengers will expect, um, we work together with the immigration department, although we are different institutions. Now, we have seen um, some major infrastructure projects uh, being undertaken by the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. Why is that? So, um, the aspiration that we have for Zambia Airports Corporation Limited is uh, for it to be a vehicle for us to um, up our act in so far as aviation in the, in the subcontinent and obviously to, to live up to the passenger expectations in this modern day world, uh, we are investing quite significantly into our airport infrastructure so as to be able to meet the expectations of current passenger needs and the needs that we envisage going into the future. We currently have a total of 24 airlines operating um, at our airports 14 of which are international carriers, another five are cargo carriers, and then another five are domestic airlines. All of these are bringing in passengers and cargo um, with differing needs uh, that have been evolving and continue to evolve. And what we're doing is we're scaling up what we're able to do at our airport so that we can meet the specific needs of the passengers and thereby the, pass the airlines that would like to attract to be coming to our airports. This is Keep Flying. If you have just tuned in, you're listening to the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited radio program. And with me is uh, Mr. Fomo Mundoloka, who is the Managing Director at the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. And uh, keeping your company, my name is Kafala. We continue with the program. So what can travelers look forward to once the construction is complete? And will there be more airlines flying into Zambia? So we're sort of looking at an expected completion at this point in time of 2019. Once this is complete, we're expecting our travelers to have a whole new experience. Our airports um, here at Lusaka, which will be completed, will be a world-class airport. And that's what we'd like our passengers to experience. We are working with a number of airlines and we are showcasing the, the prospect of our, our new airports and wanting to attract more airlines. So yes, uh, we are very, very sure and very keen that we attain, uh, we achieve more, more, more airlines coming into, into our airports once we finish the infrastructure projects that we've set out doing. Okay. There are some people that say flying within Zambia is expensive. What would you say to those who complain? So it's always been perceived that flying is only for the elite in society, and I'd like to use this platform to dispel that notion. The very essential airlines have ensured that their tickets 
continually progress to be more affordable to Zambians. Over the last um, few months, we've seen some new domestic carriers come onto the the Zambian aviation scene, and we can see that that um, that realization is actually coming through. So, we'd like to urge all Zambians, where you can, please fly. Um, rather than sit in traffic on our roads. So there are many airports in the region and on the continent that are undergoing similar projects. Why should airlines choose to fly into Zambia when they have other options such as Zimbabwe or South Africa? Well, I think the first thing to note about Zambia is that we're a peaceful country. Uh, we've got great economic opportunities to explore and we continue to be a favorable environment for investors alike. ZACL provides competitive rates to the airlines and a service that's second to none. Not forgetting our many tourist attractions which are on offer to many tourists who want to visit our country. Our airspace and our state-of-the-art navigation unit uh, can attest to the fact that our our airspace is safe. We've just um, um, implemented a, a state-of-the-art radar at, uh, at Lusaka and at Livingston that has brought a lot of uh, safety to our airspace. Now, with the great developments happening regarding infrastructure, how is Zambia Airports Corporation Limited going to improve on service delivery to the traveling public? So, we are continuing to spend quite a lot of money in training our staff for customer service. At their desks, at their workstations as it stands, we've got an operational readiness uh, plan uh, for which uh, we've engaged a renowned airport operator in the region to help us cut across to our new terminal. So when we start on day one in the new terminal, we were expecting that not only will you find the first class, world class infrastructure there, you will also find that our customer service experience will be first class commensurate with the infrastructure that will be deployed, will be de- deploying. So as we come to the end of the program, any additional comments? I'd like to urge the traveling public out there, the world at large, visit Zambia, travel by air, and come and experience our beautiful country and experience it through the lens of Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. Thank you very much for your time and for the information shared, sir. Thank you very much, and uh, you have a great day. Thank you. Well, there you have it. That was uh, the Managing Director at the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited, Mr. Fumu Mundoloka. And uh, you've been listening to the Zambia Airports Corporation radio program. Well, make sure that uh, you visit their website on www.zscl.co.zm or you can follow them on Facebook at Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. You can also just um, uh, follow them on Twitter as well as Instagram and on YouTube at Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. My name is Kafala. Thank you very much for tuning in. we we'll met next time. Stay tuned. I am a traveler. Not just an ordinary traveler, but a frequent traveler. Traveling to me is not just about moving from one place to the other. I travel for work and personal business. And with all this traveling I do, safety is my number one priority. Knowing my luggage is well looked after, and most of all, a team of people within the airport to assist me around. A self-check-in kiosk always comes in handy, and that way I don't have to queue up and stare at my watch. I'm always on my smartphone and laptop while in the airport terminals, so Wi-Fi always saves the day. Oh, and grabbing a snack while I wait for my flight is key to keeping me calm. That's <laughs> cool for all passengers to board the flight to Livingston. Oops, gotta go before I miss my flight. Travel with a peace of mind and enjoy airport services at your convenience with the help of Zambia Airport Corporation Limited, Zambia's airport and air navigation provider. With a new shopping mall and hotel coming soon. Zambia Airport Corporation Limited. Keep flying.